Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Deadly. Today we're going to be talking about that Tarkov Arena teaser trailer that just released yesterday on Battlestate Games YouTube and Twitter account. So first off, let's take a peek at exactly what the developers share with us on Twitter to give us more information about the arena mode. So, Escape for Tarkov Arena is a standalone game project, which is going to be a session-based multiplayer first-person shooter for the PC with all the well-known and beloved hardcore game mechanics from Escape for Tarkov. Now, this is going to be a standalone game project and also a DLC. So for people that are already owners of the Edge of Darkness EOD pack for Escape for Tarkov, you will be able to get Arena for free. However, if you don't own EOD, just a regular copy of Escape for Tarkov, you will have to pay for the Arena mode separately. So Arena will have players take on gladiator-style battles in various arenas in the city of Tarkov, organized by a mysterious group of Arena Masters led by the host. This game will feature various PvP and PvE game modes, ratings, weapons, gear unlocks, and unique features for owners of the main Escape for Tarkov game, such as the ability to play as your main profile character. Now, how exactly you're going to be using your main character from EFT into the arena mode and what kind of implications or benefits that would bring has yet to be said. However, we do know that closed testing for the arena mode will begin later this fall, so we're definitely going to be getting more information sometime soon. So that is all the information that we really have right now. We can go back and look at podcasts. We'll, we'll, we'll be, we, 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 we be. And pull information and sound bites from years ago. But I think it's safe to say that lots has changed since the initial discussion of the arena. In fact, the arena was supposed to be a just version, a game mode that was built directly into Escape for Tarkov. But the reason why they decided to change and move away from that is because of the competitive esport scene that has been growing in Tarkov. Thanks to the growth and success of tournaments like the Evasion Tournament, uh, Pestley's Tournament, Twitch Rivals, and lots of other smaller tournaments that have been rewarding Tarkov players with cash prizes. And the interest level is certainly there. Now, it does make me happy to hear that it's not just about PvP specifically. It's also going to have some PvE elements and the gear unlocks, so you will get a progression-based system that's built into a multiplayer session-based tactical shooter, which is something that I'm always a fan of. One of the things that, one of the reasons why I never really got into games like Insurgency was the lack of that gear progression, and one of my fondest memories of going back and playing shooters was that classic Call of Duty experience of jumping in with your friends, you're like level seven or whatever, you use an M16, the more you use that weapon, the more on like attachments and unlocks that you get for that specific gun. Now, I'm not saying that's exactly how it's gonna work for the arena, but that progression-based aspect that's on top of a session-based tactical shooter is something that I've been personally looking for, and I'm, I'm really happy to see that. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, of course, with arena. Why isn't it a part of the main Escape for Tarkov experience? They've talked about it for years. Why is it going separate? Uh, why do people who already own Escape for Tarkov have to pay for it? Uh, why do EOD people get it for free? Now, Nikita answered this question on a podcast last year, and it's because of the tick rate on the servers. This interest for Escape for Tarkov to become not just a hardcore tactical survival shooter, but also host tournaments and potentially have esport leagues is what spawned this idea of it becoming a separate game entirely. Now, personally, over the years, I've always struggled with the idea of Escape for Tarkov becoming an eSport because of a variety of different reasons. Of course, the tick rate on the servers not being good enough to be competitive, the networking issues, the bugs in PvP, Escape for Tarkov still being in beta, and the matchmaking and organizations of the players being complicated, especially when mixing it with regular player bases because you have to play on public servers. Now, I will admit, recently, there are private servers for tournaments, which is a relatively new thing, but if you're a small tournament runner, you don't have access to those tools. And for me personally, I've actually been able to participate in a number of Escape for Tarkov tournaments in the past, a few Twitch Rivals events, Pestley's Punisher tournaments, and the Code Red event. And I've always had a fun time. It was super intense. I like to compete whenever I'm in them. It's always been a lot of fun. And one of the most fun parts and the most interesting parts of participating in these tournaments, not just in Escape for Tarkov, but other games that are not built for tournaments in esports, like Daisy, for example, in those weird battle royales that we used to do, 
The part of the fun is the jankiness and the of, of, of trying to make it work in a game that isn't designed for tournaments and esports. And I think that's what also makes it kind of fun for the community that surrounds the game itself. Like, how is this even going to happen? And whenever it gets pulled off, it's like kind of awesome. But all that being said, I don't really take Tarkov as an esport very serious because I personally feel that esport FPS shooters are under a different level of scrutiny, especially when it comes to things like the networking, the bugs, and the fact that Escape for Tarkov is still a beta game with lots of issues, especially when it comes to Peeker's aggression and just general PvP jankiness. It's at a level that I would say would be unacceptable for most people who play esport FPS shooters. And let's say that you wanted to do like a game battle situation with a 3v3 or a 5v5. If you don't have a direct connection with the developers, you have to try to organize that yourself on a public surfer. And that is, well, complicated to say the least, possible, but complicated. Now, although that explanation was rather long-winded, I suspect that the Escape for Tarkov devs and those that are in charge of running these tournaments have had similar feelings. The feeling that Tarkov just isn't the game that's supposed to support these types of tournaments in esports, but the arena can become that game, especially if it's financed separately so they can afford better networking and focus more on smoothing out those bugs in PvP to get arena to the level that esport players expect from first person shooters. But all that being said, I would love to see the same level of concern for the Tarkov arena mode netcode and the PVP to support competitive play for regular Escape for Tarkov players who enjoy the deployment and extraction based system, the traditional hardcore survival experience that EFT was meant to be. And one of the reasons why I feel Tarkov is a popular game is because it doesn't follow the traditional session based FPS shooter that so many other games have followed over the last 17 to 20 years. And hey man, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, I'm just telling you guys how I really feel and you know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I am wrong, but I am concerned that, you know, Tarkov Arena might overshadow the regular Escape for Tarkov experience. And the reason why I'm concerned is we've seen this exact same thing happen in the past a few times. The most popular example would be H1Z1 Just Survive, creating the Battle Royale game mode and completely killing the Just Survive idea, throwing it out the window, and the only thing that mattered was the Battle Royale, and eventually the only thing that was supported was Battle Royale. But I love Escape for Tarkov's combat, and I like session-based shooters sometimes, so all my concerns can be thrown to the wind, because this is all speculation. Who knows what it's going to be like? Maybe I will even prefer the arena mode over regular EFT, and I'll say, ah, whatever, who cares? This is a lot of fun. I'm sticking here because of the action, the progression, the content, the intensity. It just might be a really sick game on its own. So we'll have to wait and see. The testing's coming in the fall. As always, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. What do you think of the Tarkov Arena? If you have any concerns or opinions or speculation about it. And uh, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube for not just Escape for Tarkov videos, but I've been doing all sorts of stuff with Star Citizen and My Summer Car. So expect more variety down the road. So until next time, guys, we'll see you during the live streams Monday through Friday, starting at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and also here on YouTube. Thanks, guys.